talking about brain, you know, we're talking about brain science. Rick Hansen is talking about the brain. Amy Garrett, who's in the room, is going to be talking about the brain. So what I love is this little creature called a tunicut, aka a sea squirt. Is this cute? Isn't it cute? I think it's really cute. My picture has prettier color than the one up here. But anyway, this thing eats its own brain. This little creature eats its own brain. And I thought, well, are we teaching our youth today to eat their own brains? You know, like not like actually, but are we giving them the tools to succeed to be socially, emotionally balanced young adults? And I don't think we are. But I think this, mindfulness, and mindfulness-based topics and lots of skills that I'm talking to you about, that I've even started talking to you about, helps change and reverse what we're already inclined toward, which is the negative. As Rick Hansen always says, we are inclined toward the negative. And if you, if you actually like look at research, there's this idea that narrative. We hold past experiences, especially negative ones, in our memory because it helps us so that we can prepare for future ones. But what a lot of youth do today is they use that, and for example, I don't know about you guys, but here's the story I always hear. I, told, I, I had a friend, I told her my biggest secret, she went and told someone else. And so now everyone knows I, you know, I really love Johnny, or I, I'm, really, you know, I'm really questioning my sexuality, or some sort of question. And then what will happen is, and that happened, the next time this, this girl goes and meets a new group of friends, she's assuming that everybody is going to do the same thing because they hold that narrative, they hold that, that story. And so it's, it's helpful for us to teach them that not everyone is the same, not, just, just we do the same thing, right? I mean, we are, sometimes we trust or we don't trust, but how do you find this balance is really important. 